Hello, hello people. Today I wanted to talk about how to work with layers when you have lots of different objects in the scene when you use application soft image. Because sometimes it could be useful. Just give me a few seconds because I have to load the scene. Sometimes it takes a while. When you go to kv slash e, kv slash a, you can see animation layers and scene layers. Different separate tabs. Today I wanted to tell you how to manage, how to work with layers. Uh, the green one means that it is current object and in that current layer. You can switch when you click by left mouse button. You just have to uh, select the that box so the application it knows exactly what layers we are working on. As you can see, we can still add the object, objects to the layers. And what I will show you how you can add the objects. Move selection to current layer. So you can check, but make sure you switch by clicking by left mouse button. You don't do like that. You have to switch like that. This means that this will be excluded from viewport. This uh, cake box tells you that if you deselect, you won't be able to see it in a render. That means that you won't be able to select object okay uh, what we didn't add it to the layer this has to be added to the layer we have various options select object in layer uh, actually i didn't use i just wanted to show you because i didn't use just that option Move selection to current layer. I don't know what that uh, option here means, but I just check. Oh, this is quite interesting. Oh, you can also use the X-ray surface display. Hmm, that is quite interesting uh, to see that option. You can also work with layers when you go... <coughs> Sorry, people. Uh, when you go to Explorer. I just have to check. See in the root, we have layers. You, you can also check if you group your... If you... Add it to the groups your object. When you click on that, you can move entire object in the scene. But make sure you don't use local, otherwise your objects will not behave properly. I have to deselect this. Camera interest. Do not be longer to grow. I wonder if I still, if I can still remove this from a group. This topic should be only about. Uh, how to work with layers. Okay, I will check something. Wait, this is a layer. Actually, this is... Uh, I have to check. Uh, okay, I will tell you... I will tell you different things. Sorry, I forgot to mention something. 
I have to check settings because we have seen her. This is actually uh, icon of the group, as you can see. But you can also work with layers. This is icon of the layer. This is image reference. Oh, okay. You can see some other interesting options. But at least everything has been selected at once. Unfortunately, for some reasons, I selected camera interest. I have to deselect this. This should not belong to camera. That should not belong to layer at all, camera interest. I will try to add a separate layer for camera interest. Yes, yes, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy because I excluded uh, camera interest from that layer because uh, I want to check something. Oh, I can move easily entire object when I selected layer. And but make sure that you work depending if you do animation or not. I don't use animation layer at the moment because I haven't done any animations yet. Mm, what I wanted to tell you. Uh, okay, another thing is you can explore layers. Uh, you can explore groups. So you can so you can easily select everything as quick as possible. But make sure you don't select local. See what happens. Uh, uh, this doesn't happen now because I parented those separate objects to polygon. But if you only group, if you only group together and you use local transform, your objects will relocate to different position. They will uh, relocate. I hope you like my video tutorial. And uh, this application has native support for cycles and their engine. And that is why I started using again. Because you can use cycles around their engine in soft image application. If you don't believe, you can check. If this is not fake, you can download it from one page. And I hope you like my video tutorial. Have a nice day, guys.